number nine. Fighting out of the blue corner. Haggag Dawli Fatuh. is three rounds in Cardia's featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, mixed martial arts holding a profession record of one win, one loss. He stands 168 centimeters tall, weighing in at 65.7 kilograms, representing SMB Academy. Fighting out of Egypt, Haggag Dawli And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of three wins, one loss. He stands 182 centimeters tall, weighing in at 65.8 kilograms, representing Big Ape Jim, fighting out of Egypt, Muhammad Azam. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, 
Fabi. Mohamed Azam versus Haggag Fatouh. Guys, this is a very exciting fight. Mohamed Azam looks very focused here. Let's go! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Azam had a last uh, fight win by uh, to Omar Sabri in his last event here in Qadia. Azam. Azam in the red trunks versus Hagak in the black trunks. Hagak is a national champion, guys, in Kung Fu, and he's a very good uh, striker here. He's a very, very explosive striker. He's very people. explosive. And actually, he has very explosive grappling as well. Nice, nice combination. And I think he's a is he going for the takedown? Yeah, goes for the takedown on Azam, which is surprising. Guys, they had a heated press conference yesterday. Uh, Azam told uh, Hagag that he's not prepared, that he cannot be prepared for his level. And it was a wild exchange yesterday, and then we have a wild fight here. And Azam takes pride in his fight IQ and believes that this is the key to victory tonight. Azam had a lot to say yesterday about Hagag. Nice, nice knee to the body here by Azam. I'm looking for the guillotine, but Hagag here. Hagag is shoot. He's aiming for that takedown. I'm surprised here that, that he's looking for the takedown. No, he's underhook and overhook. Maybe he's trying to, to prove something here that he is a. he like, Do not count me down in the grappling department. I mean, he's had the, his camp with the SMB Academy. Oh, and he. Ooh, Ooh. Azam reverses! High level reversal by Azam. Wow! In, in side control, Azam. This is not a place you want to be. Heavy side control by Azam. I love that reversal. Terrible position here. Very the, nice reversal by Azam. Lovely work by Azam. Talk about his grappling skills, guys. And now he's in full side control. Um, we'll see what he does from here. He's looking for the ground, and, ground and pound. And watch out for Azam's submissions, guys. He, he snapped a guy's arm once before uh, with an arm. Bar. And he, he loves fancy submissions. He told us yesterday in the press conference he might be thinking of doing something crazy here. So, guys. A split or a twister or whatever. It's going for something mad. Exactly. Earning performance of the night at the last Kodia event. He's looking to entertain the masses. And Haggag here moves to, uh, to, f to, to close guard here. Very nice recovering of the guard by uh, Haggag Fatou. Yeah, I like how he's holding uh, Azam's head here and he's uh, protecting himself from the ground and pound here. Yeah, this is where Azam wants to frame uh, Haggag off of him and start going to town with the punches. Nice body shots here by, uh, by Azam here. Azam is patient. Haggag holding on to Azam. He does not want to separate because if he separates, Azam is going to go with some ground and pound. Azam very, very stable, very confident here. And, uh, Haggag is, going, is looking to stand back up and utilize his striking again. And guys, Azam has a much bigger frame than Haggag. Much very bigger frame. Very big for featherweight. Yeah. Extremely big for, for, for featherweight. Azam. Oh, now, now he's looking for the ground power. Now he has space, now he has space to move. He's trying to be unpredictable with the ground and pound, shelling up and then exploding into an elbow or, an, or, or just punching his face. <laughs> Slams Haggag to the floor. And now, uh, still, Azam is in Haggag's guard. I like how Haggag is protecting himself here. Very, very smart to just keep it uh, limiting the damage. Yeah, but he's losing the round. He's losing the round by being protecting himself like that. He's not taking any chances here. And Azam moves to side control, but he, 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 he still has that leg, uh, that leg to pass. And uh, I'm impressed with Haggad's uh, ground game here. He's uh, protecting himself. He's he doesn't want to take chances which is going to cost him the round, but we're going to see what he's going to do. And uh, as he moves to, to half guard then, oh, check out guard. for that left arm. That left goes, arm. goes straight into mount. Oh, One shot for this guy's submission. Oh, that elbow landed so heavy. And he has his back, he has his back. 
One, one hook in, and another hook in. Oh, he's looking for the omoplata. And another reversal. Reverse his position again. I love these reversals by Azem. He's very confident in his ground game. He's used, utilizing those reversals very well. And now he's in top position again, half guard, looking to mount. 10 seconds to go. Azem's jitsu on this play. And a full mount again. Greg is hanging on for his life. Amazing ground here by both fighters. Uh, I, I love Azem's uh, reversals. Very, very slick. Very experienced in the in the ground and uh, Hagag protecting himself, not taking any damage, looking to make it to the second round. I think Khaled, what do you think? Do you think he he was looking to stand back up in round number two to fight him? I believe if I'm Hagag, I would do that. And here, as we see in the replays, uh, the one with the most success in the grappling exchanges, uh, it's a no-brainer. It was Muhammad Azam. Now he's on top of him. This is where he threw a nasty elbow that landed flush on uh, Haggag. I thought he was going to go for the mounted triangle here. But guys, the, the reverses from Muhammad Azam are very high level. He's, he's got some nice reverses uh, in his arsenal. Uh, Haggag should definitely put that into perspective going into the second round. Maybe he regretted the, the choice of taking, <laughs> attempting to take Azam down. Azam is one of the best decisions. 100%. Azam is very huge for the. I, I don't know. He, he's looking bigger than Amal Sabri. <laughs> he's looking bigger than me, and I'm a million. <laughs> but the next round is gonna start. Both of these guys standing on their feet, and Hagak has an, another opportunity to showcase his striking skills, and Azam has an opportunity to counter. Muhammad Azam representing Big Ape Gym. This guy lives in his inside his gym. He's a very obsessed individual. I trained with him and he, all he does is either trains or watches fights. Talk about obsession. I mean, he invited me for lunch and what did we do? We sat down and we watched fights. Talk about obsessed. Perfect lunch. <laughs> And Azam mentioned to us yesterday in the press conference and, we, and uh, in the interviews that uh, Hagag has very bad energy management. We'll see if this happens tonight. I like how I, I like how both fighters are calm here, not not looking for anything explosive in the beginning of the round. Nice low kicks here by Hagag and a nice right hand. Nice combination here by Hagag. Azam inviting him to give me some more. Huge oh, difference in reach. Guys, he's talking to him right now. Don't forget. Oh, nice slack kick here by Hagag. I'm giving him some props. <laughs> this guy is a champion, a kung fu champion, a good striker. Oh, nice combination here by Hagag. Overhand uh, to a check hook, but uh, defended by Azam's high guard. I love Azam's high guard. Uh, striking very hard to catch him. Azam is a talkative individual. He just talked to, to, to Hagag uh, in this round. and. Uh, I'm interested to see what they're talking about. We should put microphones inside that office, guys. I bet they're not saying compliments. Nice takedown. Timed it perfectly. Nice takedown here. Referee warning is in. I'm surprised Hagag's going for the takedown. Another takedown. Interesting approach. I mean, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't after the, what happened round number one, but. Azam uh, looking to reverse positions again, but uh, Hagag, ooh, he slaps him. Guys, be, be aware of Azam's uh, guard, guard work, here, guard game. He's, he's strong out of his back. Azam is slapping him from the guard. We saw him put uh, put uh, almost up in a triangle choke last fight. So be careful of his ground game. Azam is actually very slick on the ground, uh, looking for another reversal. And they, he's got so much, Azam's got submissions in uh, his arsenal from guard position. He's looking for that hip boxer, but uh, he can't do that when, he, when his opponent is putting pressure on him like that. He's not doing much work from the top here. Agak's corner uh, telling him to throw some punches from the ground and pound. But I think Azam, Azam is Azam not breathing. Is Azam breathing heavy here, guys? I, 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 I see him breathing heavy. I think he is frustrated and just wants to stand up. Yeah, Agak is just... He's waiting, for, he's waiting for Hagag to, to, to strike and uh, maybe Azam can then, can then uh, work from, from his back because Hagag is putting pressure on Azam 
making him not being able to work. Right, right, guys. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's uh, killing. The there is no space for him to punch. There is no space for him to stand up. But Hazam is looking for the triangle. I guess. He's looking for a triangle here. Oh, he has that that rubber guard. Hazam is utilizing the rubber guard here. Not a not a common technique we see a lot, but. He bails on it. Guys, do you think the referee should stand him back up? Because we've seen a stand-up in tonight's uh, fight. It was about 15 seconds in the guard and the referee stand him up. I believe he, sh he should stand up because Hagar's not doing damage from the top. Azam's, Azam's taking, uh, doing strikes from the bottom. So even, even Azam protested in this round to the referee. He's like, I'm fighting and he's not doing any work. Azam slapping him. But we see interesting to see how the judges will score this one. See, Azam right now is being. Uh, uh, guys, he stopped. He stopped. Uh, I think Haggad is holding, holding on to him because of how good Azam is with the reversals and with standing back up. Exactly. Haggad doesn't want uh, to let go of that man. Guys, how would you judge this round? Would you judge it? I, I see Azam doing most of the damage here. Well, it's very intriguing for me to find out, but we don't know. He has the butterfly hooks now. He's getting up. He stands up. He used the cage to stand One up. One minute left, and he's standing up. Yeah, still deep with that body lock. Yeah, interesting approach. Very exhausting for him as well. Interesting approach here. Oh, using yeah. the strength. Hagag is very, very strong, guys. Look at his Ooh, Hagag ooh, gave him that one. Uh, and uh, Azam with the Muay Thai clinch and some knees. Nice, nice knees by Azam. Another takedown by Hagag. This is very surprising. And Hagag nice is gassing himself out right now. Nice defense. Uh, Beautiful takedown by Hagag. Top control here by Hagag in the half guard position. But we, I really want to see him put strikes on Azem from this position. He's on top. Why don't you punch from the top position? It's because Azem's uh, very. Uh, if he gave him space, Azam will stand up. He doesn't want him to stand up. I believe that the reach advantage is so large between both of these guys that Hagag is very frustrated with the striking, even though he's the he has the striking advantage. So he just took him down, stuck to him, scored some points. Maybe the judges will see it another way. We don't know. But we'll see the other... Nice work from Hagag uh, this round. Got secured two takedowns, but we don't know how the judges are gonna see this one. Yeah, it's interesting how the judges will score this uh, this round because we saw two successful takedowns from Hagag. He had uh, top control almost all of the round, but he didn't do damage. So mm, and guys, this is the story of the second round. As uh, Hagag holding on to Azam with everything he's got. Um, I'm not sure how this, the, the third round will go. And, uh, Hagag's got a very powerful corner. He's got uh, coach Abdel Hamid Al Sayyad and uh, Islam Nadir from SNB in his corner, giving him instructions. Oh. And uh, Hagag right now seems exhausted, guys. Look, he's in the gr he's on the ground and he's well, he's on his knees. What's he going should on? Be. <laughs> I mean, holding on to like Azam for that much time, it's not, it's not that easy. Oh, he looks tired, he looks exhausted, and Azam looks much fresher here. I'm just to see what's going to happen here, guys. Azam's mouth breathing, though. Both fighters are tired, but I don't like the body language from Haggag. Yeah, me too. He looks a bit more exhausted. He's, he's, he's breathing heavy, he's holding, he's holding his arms up high. You see how Azam capitalizes on this one? Another takedown attempt. Azam stops it. Azam chooses to separate. Oh, and he goes Nice. Wow. Great combination by both fighters here. Another takedown attempt by Haggad. Will he take them down? Azam. Protects himself. Nice takedown defense. Oh, Azam. Strong score by Azam. Azam's very tall. The, these tall guys have so much balance when you try to take them down. It's surprisingly hard to take a tall guy down. Both jab, 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 jab. Number three. Jab, Danny. Danny, I'm sorry. And a 
take them time to get him back again. I'm very surprised uh, Hagets uh, plan, plans him this way. I think it's just the fatigue. I think he just wants to, to take the fight the and finish scoring points. Maybe gain some control time like he did in, in the second round. And the referee telling Hagek to... to Hagag is holding on to the cage, but the referee does not see it, or he's telling him to, to leave the cage. And guys, Hagag is very strong. I mean, he wouldn't be able to do all of this without his extreme strength. He's tired as well. I don't think Azam was expecting that from the Kung Fu champion. Oh, exactly. Oh, man. I think this referee is going to separate them right now because uh, there's not much action going on from, uh, from both fighters here. Yeah, Hagag is exhausted. Oh, yeah. Nice reversal here. Left, 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 left. Oh, and, and Hagag goes uh, on, on top again. Talk about some high level reversals from uh, it's an exhausting ground. These grappling exchanges take a toll on the body, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Is he, going, is he going for the back? Look, he, he Ooh, is this, for, this, wow, this is crazy. It's an arm bar. This guy is extremely flexible, guys. I think it's an arm bar. Is he attempting an arm bar? He is attempting an arm bar. Oh, oh, did he fall on his head? No, no, no. He's, he's good here. He's good here. He's doing that. It's, it's very hard to tell, but if he's in. This guy's so crafty, guys. You can't see it from this angle. He's looking for the arm bar. It's an arm bar or a triangle. He has a reverse triangle, I think. The, the cage is in the way, And he's, he's holding. Oh, he's looking for that. Uh, we need another. Uh, he wants to pull his right leg. Oh, oh, yeah. He's trying to isolate his arm. Maybe a knee bar. I think he's so strong. And he's, he's, he's got extended. He's got his right arm extended. We still have two minutes left. Two minutes left. Plenty of time to work here. Hagag is very strong and... The referee is watching the, uh, I, the referee should keep the action going on because I think uh, Azam is attempting to tie him up in a submission. Yeah, he needs, he needs to put his forehead on the ground and start working out. Now he's working right. And, uh, and Hagag is just is killing the momentum of the fight. Hagag is tall. He's not trying to fight back. Ooh, oh my, this is not oh. good for him. Nice work by Hagag here. Hagag is very lengthy. Nice, heart from nice attempt by uh, Azam, but reversed by Hagag, and now Hagag is back on oh, top. He's Azam is always looking for the submission. And triangle. He's got triangle. He's got the triangle. No, Hagag's out. Hagag's out. The guillotine attempt here by Azam. Azam takes the back position. He's Hagag's. Uh, oh, he's exhausted. He's not moving. Azam's out. This is not good. The ref is taking a closer look. He's got that right knee on his body, and he's doing the ground and pound. He's got his back. Hagag moves back to his looking forward. Hagag is extremely exhausted. Guys, one minute left here. We're very interested to see him full mount attempt. Full mount. Azem's good full mount. Azem should finish this fight for safety mode. Hagag's holding on to Azem's head. Trying to prevent all the ground and pound attempts by Azem. Almost 30 seconds left. And uh, Hagag is holding on to him. Oh, this, this has been disgusting. Oh, nice ground and pound. Azam has time to work. He can finish this here. He can finish this. He has almost 20 seconds left to finish the fight. Will he be able to secure your neck, make it choke or not? Oh, this is both fighters are extremely tired, but Hagag is not even fighting him. Hagag is not fighting, but Hagag is just Ooh, 10 seconds left! Ten is he gonna do it? Can he's going for the choke. Can he's going for the choke. Come on, Four. come on, he might do it. Two, Pedro. one. Oh, the fight is over, ladies and gentlemen. As promised, Hagag versus Azem. What a fight, but there's something. There's something. There's a problem here, guys. They still want to fight. Maybe Azam does not want to leave guys, the cage. Hagag's body language is not looking good at all. He's extremely exhausted. He's now laying on his back, trying to catch a breath. And Azam trash talk. <laughs> Azam's <laughs> talking to him. <laughs> trash talk by Azam here. Classic. Oh. Classic Azam. And Hagag. Ooh. Okay. Classic Azam here. There's a fight between both corners here. Azam always brings the drama to the fights. Uh, yeah. Always. I mean, 
this is the business. This, this is, is the, the fight, fight business. Yeah, this exactly. is the fight game. Exactly. exactly. But uh, no, he should he should he should show respect uh, to the legends in uh, Hagag's corner. Yeah. Uh, I'm not with that trash talking when uh, you have a legend like Abdel Hamid Al Sayyad or Islam Nadir in your corner. Like, of course, of course. But this is Azam. What what will we say? <laughs> Tough one, <laughs> or maybe not uh, a tough one. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't know. But the judges and the scorecards are getting ready, and Rakib. Hey. We're waiting for Rakib to announce the winner. And the Haggag's got yeah. his uh, hand raised, he's back from the dead. Tough fight for both these guys. Haggak poured his heart out. Azam showed us his fight IQ as he promised. And Haggak showed us his heart. He's not backing down. He's not afraid. He's going to fight. But very unexpected turn of events. We, we didn't expect Haggak to grapple at all. But as Azam said, the the, the, the advantage that he had over Haggag was Haggag's bad energy management. He told us that before the fight. Well, he's not wrong, but Haggag kept fighting, but the, uh, the fight did not end the way he wanted it to be. And now Raqib with the official scores. I wonder who will it be. tension with the knife here. <laughs> this is definitely very nerve-wracking for both corners. Rakib is keeping up, keeping us at a cliffhanger. He's talking to the judges. I think there might be something with the scores. And now Rakib. Come on, Rakib. Don't do that to us, Don't man. leave us hanging here. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we get to the judges score. And for the decision, Judge Fahmi scored it 29-28 Azem. Judge Sabin scored it 29-28 Hagek. Judge Rashid scored it 29-28. And the winner by split decision is Muhammad Azam. Nice show of respect here between both fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for both fighters here. What's up? <laughs> What's up? I'm here with the winner, Muhammad Azam. Were you surprised to see him go for the, for the takedown? That's exactly what I expected. I told you I was going to catch him with some sneaky submissions. I didn't get the finish but I use them as transitions to fuck some shit up. Great work, we saw great work here today. What is next for you, Azem? The title, motherfuckers. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner, Muhammad Azem. <laughs>